Hello, hello, Tyler Bryden here. Uh, an interesting rabbit hole I ended up down uh, yesterday. What I was doing was putting together a page. Um, page was for uh, about basically about transcribing an earnings call. And one of the reasons why, uh, I mean, what what we're doing at Speak AI, continue to build out basically these templated, well SEO optimized optimized pages, and we're taking sort of the the how to the actual method that you're trying to do. So for example, in this one, transcribe, and then the actual data source that you would be applying that technology to and using speak for. So in this case, an earnings call. And so built a little guide, uh, you know, nice that walks, walks through everything. And one of the triggers to uh, do this was that we were talking to our transcriber team who um, fulfills all the professional transcription that we do. And then obviously has a bunch of clients that they're sourcing. They do an incredible job. And they said they were just overloaded right now because they were doing all the uh, quarter one 2022 earnings calls. Uh, they were transcribing them professionally because they are sort of responsible for doing, you know, you don't, it's not mandated, but most companies will do an earnings call. Um, a CEO or executives will then share insights from the actual uh, from the actual quarter, go over, um, go over the, uh, the performance, take questions. Sometimes there's things that come through those questions from analysts who are in the room asking them those questions. And then sometimes there's some off the cuff moments that can reveal a lot of information. And so they are, after they have that conversation, they, um, are responsible for then doing a professional, um, fully accurate transcript that then is published on the site. And so find lots of those available there was for just as a, a quick example to make this more clear uh was applied materials uh they did their earnings calls and then here is the actual um uh, pdf that then was published so um, they have it a little bit more formatted uh, i've seen literally the ones that are just raw uh transcripts uh here but uh it, it's a really sort of interesting piece that sort of emerged and so i said oh well this is worth investigating a little bit more ended up creating this page and this is a templated page that then we do for different outputs and then i was like you know what what does this look like to uh if i apply this transcription but then the automatic analysis of speak um that uh that we can do and i then started like is this even worth doing is there something you know worthwhile here and so I did a little bit of looks on like, do people actually watch earnings calls? Do they listen to them? Is there any insights that um, that come from this? And it was some really interesting pieces that came out, which was like the importance of earnings calls. It's, it's acknowledged and that investors really, they do, they plan to close their trades. Uh, they plan to trades uh, do their trades closer to the date of an upcoming conference. And then uh, they often use that to like update uh, their earnings estimates uh, and then make, make better decisions. And then there's also a lot of people who are, um, listening to these calls who are sitting on the sidelines as in they're not uh, investors yet, but they're deciding if they want to invest um, in this company. And so they listen to these calls, try to figure out if it's, they sound confident, if they sound optimistic, if there's any insights into what happened in that previous quarter. And there's a lot of signals of moving forward and even this idea of a guidance and there can be good guidance. So there can be, you know, not so good guidance that comes out. And then um, through some of these questions, maybe there's information that is revealed that's not quite as, uh, that wasn't necessarily supposed to be revealed. So some really interesting moments that can happen there. And one of them, uh, one of the, just an, an example of that was a moment in one of uh, Tesla's uh, um, earnings where uh, Elon was obviously frustrated, annoyed by questions and did not, you know, sounded a little bit pessimistic and and that had an impact on uh, on then the trade volume uh, and, and price. And so the actual earnings calls are these micro moments that have an impact on the larger market and even, you know, a couple percent or even less than a percent that's millions if not billions of dollars that then's moving around for the economy so there's a pretty big impact there and uh you know talk about headwinds tailwinds all this all this stuff so there are, have been some really fascinating studies um that have been done where they've scraped say historical uh data sets of transcripts and then looked at the performance see if they could find any um correlation um or at least connection between those data points and there has been some really interesting ones one including uh the difference between a morning call and an afternoon call and if something gets pushed back to the afternoon there seems to be a little bit more uh, a struggle during that call and there's actually been sort of this correlation uh, or connection at least with uh, a dip in about 1.5 percent uh, stock price a dip on the year so 
some really fascinating things that have come out of this just from like some some surface level research some you know some github library looking and uh you know again ended up down the rabbit hole uh and having a lot of uh having a lot of fun and sometimes you know uh, fun uh fun fun is important when you're uh when you're doing all this stuff and and then just a couple last ones that sort of stuck out so it was this idea that firms that reference more positive descriptors around their financials, they outperformed historically. And then firms that were more um, transparent uh, in these calls, they also outperformed historically. So a couple of really interesting things, at least worthwhile for me to figure out if I could investigate a bit more. And so I did. And so what I did was took a Tesla call uh, uh, and I'll share, I'll share this. Uh, and you can see on the site here, Tesla earnings call, um, and then uh, I'll talk this a little bit more, but really there's an uh, iframe player, player that's there, a couple highlights from it, and then the entire raw transcript. From us, for this perspective, when people are searching for this, there's an SEO benefit to it, and uh, transcripts are always good for SEO, a collapsible accordion, and then a couple sort of high-level insights, and then in this case, these, uh, these pieces are clickable. So you can actually click through these specific moments and then jump in here about growth in this earnings call. So from a navigation or a streamlined perspective, to get to the moments that matter, there's something really powerful there. And this is where uh, I think speak starts to shine a little bit, especially if you are a non-technical person, which is I looked into, okay, there's a couple of research papers around the keywords and phrases, or then just by scraping a couple, seeing that there are language that are used commonly in these calls that then are important moments for people who are investors or prospective investors to understand and then take note of. And so this is the higher level group, things that come from earnings calls, and you can see a little bit of you know uh, some efficient, some interesting terms here around you know uh, free cash. If they're talking about COVID, inflation, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and then you can use the custom categories to then break this down um, even further. So instead of just having it all grouped as earnings calls, you start to build subcategories. One of those are big ones, forward looking statements, and then as we analyze these uh, these calls, realize there's a lot of forward looking statements in these. So you can't take these with that um, utmost um, belief. And this is where I find there's this separation between earnings calls, sort of financial or sort of financial uh, earnings, which are historically looking at um, the, the previous quarter, whereas in these earnings call case, they're actually projecting and looking forward into the future. So there's some very interesting insights and you can see when these forward looking statements emerge and then things around revenue, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I just want to see here like what I can do then like very simply I can say you know um, uh, you know just as an example just type the word fast automatically uh, that is now added to my earnings call um, piece here I can jump into one of the earnings calls that I did so this was that Tesla one that I was saying and you can see that everything's there and I can then hit reanalyze and if the word fast is mentioned throughout um, uh, then it will automatically be picked up um, from that so this was really fascinating to me. Uh, there is the idea of like uh, identifying speakers, but then you can see all the mentions of forward-looking statements. I think if I you know jump here and I say expect, but I'm, I, I, I feel very high confidence that. in yeah. the yeah. teams at both factories. Um, and but there you go. You've got um, a mention of a forward-looking statement. And what we should be doing a little bit better here is just displaying this in sentence format. So very quickly, you could get uh, almost a summary or a report of this earnings call without necessarily having to uh, listen to the entire thing. And so this is a really... Um, fascinating idea to me. First of all, I'm interested in this. We're in a volatile market right now. There's a lot going on. And I believe that there are other people who are interested in this, especially ones who have lost a lot of money or actually have money right now and are looking to invest it as um, this quarter. I mean, a lot of these earnings have been done here now for Q1 2022. Um, but the next quarter, as we look at where are we in this economy, what does this recession look like? Um, Yes, what does this recession look like? Because we're in a recession. Um, these earnings calls might be very important and impactful for how we then project uh, uh, and move forward. So, uh, definitely some interesting pieces around here. What I, you know, what was, um, you know, what then happens here is you can build these nice little databases of, okay, we've got Tesla earnings calls, uh, and then you can use speak, um, you can see them nicely organized here. And then there's obviously some nice call to actions and stuff. So there's something really uh, sort of interesting about this. And 
why this was fascinating to me, just to show you a little bit of my thought process or, you know, why I, I sort of spent a little bit of time on it was I took typed up to earnings calls, uh, about total volume of, so this is SEM rush, SEM rush. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, which really sort of finds the search volume. So volume, the trend, if it's trending up or down, how difficult is it to rank for these terms? How much would it be for a cost per click? And then you can even see the results page of this. And so you can see, here's all the people who are looking for earnings calls and then um, the volume that then is associated with each one of them. And, and then using this, I could now say, okay, you know, look, we're going to start to dump a couple earnings calls transcripts in. Um, and then we're also going to produce this automatic analysis now that this custom categories is ready. And I can then uh, start to get the search engine rankings. I can start to drive people to the site. They can get the insights directly from Speak. They can be familiar with Speak and might even have their own uh, calls that they're doing, their own webinars, their own financial presentations. So a lot of interesting things that can just come out of a small piece because of how easy it is to customize the insights within the Speak system. And, you know, more than just the ones that I automatically programmed in, Speak is obviously doing some extraction of people, of brands, and then um, even things like dates, cardinals, geopolitical regions, money. So 500 what billion. That, that, that might be like, uh, uh, for you know, big if, if, et cetera, et cetera. And then products. So we know that he was talking about the Model 3, jump to that moment. So a lot of power with the combination of the named entity recognition, the custom categories, and then the navigation element that Speak um, has. There are some challenges with accuracy of transcripts and I think it's really important to do it um, right here but generally this is good quality audio and the transcription is, is strong the other option here which is pretty easy is I could actually just go you know like this one I've got great I've got an actual PDF here I jump in I hit new upload and then I grab uh, let's see here PDF push it in upload and it's gonna analyze this PDF right away. So it take a second here just to analyze everything. I'll refresh in a moment uh, and then uh, and then we'll see here's how that we here's how the uh, this transcript that was more professionally published and then with that accurate um, is there. So again, you can see uh, forward looking statements, uh, the all the expect. Uh, and then uh, believe, and then even if we want to look at, oh, okay, talk about free cash, um, incremental free cash flows. So some really fascinating things that I gained from this perspective, obviously good to know uh, when you are uh, a business uh, you know, owner or you're an investor, you're paying attention to the markets and it's having an impact on your life. So definitely doing some stuff there. Uh, and then the other thing that I just wanted to show quickly which is what will become, uh, I think, really fascinating, is I can then share this into this uh, library. So I've got, if I remember my own password, there we go, earnings. Now I have all time, I can look at um, the different sort of automatically visualized. So this is now the aggregated analysis. If I then hop into uh, this and I move it uh, to folder, earnings calls, update all. So now this would be in there too. If I go hop, I refresh this, we can see it included. Everything can be tagged by the quarter. So I know that I'm only interested in Tesla, for example, I'm interested in audio video. I can apply this filter, we can specifically see that. And then I can even jump into the actual categories itself. So a lot of stuff sort of came out this very quickly. If I want, I can say, okay, I'm interested in cost. Here's the exact mention of cost. And then if I, I can want, this is that navigation I think, I think jump I think. that specific moment. So again, a lot of power from this navigation element and just a little interesting deep dive that I had. So um, I'd be interested to know if you're investing, you're listening to earnings call, you're just an investor in general. Um, is this interesting to you? Is there any feedback to have? Is there anything that you're looking for from these earnings calls that, um, that are not included or that you would like to see included? Um, how do you monitor these? How do you get your insights from this? How do you uh, derive value from these earnings calls? What do you learn? How does that connect with the actual financial performance that you're looking for? And then how does that all culminate together to make, to help you make hopefully uh, better decisions when you're investing in? The other part that I'm fascinated with this is, you know, these impact, there's impact from the public markets um, that then rain down on the private markets. So as a company that is a private market company that has been impacted by um, what's happening in the world, the volatility in the market, the chance for recession slash that we're in a recession, all of this is connected and more connected than I had previously thought. So um, the idea of both the SEO opportunity, the automatic analysis opportunity and how easy it is to program and to speak and the ways that we could create value for people 
some of these people being investors, um, whether large investors or even small investors paying attention to the markets and helping them summarize earnings calls and giving them them insights as clo- quickly as close to real time as possible so they can make better decisions. Seems like there's some value there. I would love to explore it and would love to hear from you if you have any thoughts. So, uh, I hope this was interesting. Thank you so much for checking this out. I know this was a little bit of a deep dive and, and I was walking through speak, uh, which I don't always try to do, but, um, this was fun. I hope you had a, I hope you uh, enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.